Tension in a string. Suppose a person is holding an object of weight W with the help of a string. The object exerts a force on the hand through the string in the downward direction while the hand exerts an equal force on the object in the upward direction through the string. Hence, the force on the hand is action and the force exerted on the object is the reaction. The magnitude of force remains uniform everywhere in the string. That force which is exerted by the string on the body or on the hand is called the tension in the string and it is usually denoted by T. Remember that T is directed upward at the point A and downward at the point B. If the object is at rest, the magnitude of tension is equal to that of weight. T is equal to W. Motion of bodies connected by a string. Case 1. When the bodies move vertically. Suppose two bodies A and B having masses M1 and M2 respectively are connected to two ends of an inextensible string which passes over a frictionless pulley. If M1 is greater than M2, then the body A will move downward and the body B will move upward. Since both the bodies are connected by N, inextensible string. Therefore, the magnitude of acceleration in both of them will be the same. Let's find out the values of acceleration A of the bodies and the tension T in the string. Two forces are acting on the body A. Number 1. Its weight W1 is equal M1G acting downward. Number 2. Tension of string T acting upward. As the body A is moving downward, the resultant force acting on it is downward. Due to which acceleration A is produced in it, hence M1G minus T is equal M1A. As the body B is moving upward, so the resultant force acting upward on body B is T minus M2G. It is moving upward with the same acceleration A. Therefore, according to the second law of motion, T minus M2G G is equal M2A, M1G minus M2G is equal M1A plus M2A, M1 minus M2 into G is equal M1 plus M2 into A or A is equal M1 minus M2 into G over M1 plus M2. Putting the value of A in equation, we get T is equal to M1 M2G over M1 plus M2. When one body moves vertically and the other moves horizontally, two bodies A and B having masses M1 and M2 respectively are connected to an inextensible string which passes over a pulley. The body A moves vertically downward while the body B moves on the horizontal smooth surface towards the pulley. Here it is assumed that pulley and the horizontal surface are frictionless. The downward resultant force on body A is equal to M1G minus T due to which it moves downward with an acceleration A. By Newton's second law of motion, M1G minus T is equal M1A. Now consider the motion of the body B. Three forces are acting on it. Number 1. Weight W2 is equal M2G acting downward. Number 2. The upward reaction R of the horizontal surface. Number 3. Tension T of the string in the horizontal direction towards the pulley. As the body B is not moving vertically, therefore vertical forces cancel each other. The only remaining forces is T due to which the body B is moving in the horizontal direction with acceleration A. Hence, according to the second law of motion, T is equal M2A. Putting the value of T, we get M1G is equal M1A plus M2A. M1G is equal M1 plus M2 into A or A is is equal M1G over M1 plus M2. In order to find out the value of T in the string, put the value of A from equation. Hence, T is equal M1 M2G over M1 plus M2.